Hello, welcome to Chemistry Untold. So today we are going to speak about and today we are going to learn something about types of voids and solids. And also we'll see how to identify them. We'll see tetrahedral voids, we'll see octahedral voids and how to identify tetrahedral voids and octahedral voids if they are given in an FCC cube. So we'll be starting with the types of voids. So we all know if there are particles in solid state and if we arrange them, the arrangement produces a lot number of voids. Basically, there are four types of voids which we will be studying. The first one will be called as triangular void. The second one will be called as tetrahedral void. The third one will be called as octahedral void. And the fourth one will be called as cubic void. Cubic void is rather simple, but it is equally difficult to identify it. As well as octahedral and tetrahedral voids are very difficult to identify. Studying them separately is an easy job, but identifying them in a crystal is very difficult. So we will be studying about them. We will learn how to identify them as well as we will prove that if there are n number of particles in a cube, there are 2n number of tetrahedral voids and there are n number of octahedral voids. So let's start with the types of voids first of all. How to identify? Suppose you have got a crystals and you have got atoms and if you arrange them in two dimension, now arranging them in two dimension will produce a tetra triangular void. Now how to identify a triangular void? If you are arranging particles in two dimension, you will be getting this type of arrangement and whenever you get this type of arrangement, the void produ produced at the center will be called as a triangular void, just like I have drawn over here. So the void produced over here will be called as a triangular void. Now, let us go to the next, it will be called as a tetrahedral void. Now, how to identify a tetrahedral void? A tetrahedral void is produced when there will be three particles and one particle will be placed over it. The void produced inside will be called as a tetrahedral void. Now, why it is called as a tetrahedral void? Because there are four faces over here. How to identify the four faces? The center of this particle, this particle and this particle is producing one face. The center of this particle, this particle and this particle is producing the another face. So we have got two faces. The center of these three particles will be producing a third face and at the bottom will be having the fourth face. Hence it is called as a tetrahedral void. Now if you look very carefully, tetrahedral void can be produced in two ways. Either placing this particle at the top or either placing this particle at the bottom. Hence tetrahedral void can be identified simply by looking at the structure. If you have got a triangle and there is one particle which is placed over it it will be producing a tetrahedral void just like I have got a figure over there. So this figure represents this. Now we will be studying something about octahedral void. Now how an octahedral void looks and how to identify it. Identifying an octahedral void is very simple. First of all we will study how it is formed. Now let us say I have got a layer of three particles which are arranged in a triangular manner. This is the first layer. Obviously, there will be a triangular void which is present over here. Now, let us say I have got a second layer, but the second layer is arranged in an opposite way. How? Look, look at the base triangle. The base triangle present over here is having a triangle in this way, facing that side. Whereas, if you look at the orange triangle, it is facing towards me. Now, this void which is produced inside will be called as an octahedral void. Now, why it is called an octa? The reason is it has got eight faces over here. The first face will be at the top. The second face will be at the bottom. And the remaining six faces are present over here. If, if you want to count, we can count it. This will be the first face. This will be the second face. This will be the third face, fourth face, fifth face, and the sixth face. So this produces inside an octahedral void. Now how to identify octahedral void in a given arrangement of particle? The simple way is look at the triangular face. Now if you look at this triangular faces, you will be getting two triangles which are placed opposite to each other. Now looking at this diagram, we have got blue color triangle which is placed at the bottom and upon it we are placing a red color triangle which is at the top. Now if you look, if you join the centers, if you join the centers, you will be getting the first triangle which is at the top which will be producing this. If you join the centers of the bottom one, you will be getting somewhat like this. So what you are getting is somewhat like this, the first triangle which is at the top and the second triangle which is at the bottom. So the void which is produced inside it will be called as an octahedral void. Always remember an octahedral void is a greater than tetrahedral void. A tetrahedral void will always be greater than a triangular void. Now identifying the next void is very simple. It's called as a cubic void. Now how to identify a cubic void? The void which is present inside a simple cube will be called as a cubic void and obviously cubic void will be the largest. So the series will be a triangular void will be smaller than tetrahedral void will be smaller than octahedral void will be smaller than cubic void. I hope 
till now you must have learned how to identify the voids how the voids are produced now the next what we are, we are going to study will be how to identify the voids in a given crystal what you are looking over here is an fcc structure this structure is of nacl structure over here the white color particles are chloride ions which are forming this fcc structure as well as the blue color ions present over here are also chloride ion but they are present at the face now the red color particles stand sitting over there will be your sodium ion i can write it down as na plus i can write this down as cl minus as well as this blue color particle is also cl minus the only reason why i have differentiated them is to understand that blue color particle is at the face and the white color one are present at the corner now i have made three cubes over here if you look very carefully the particle over here will be present half inside this cube and the remaining half will be over here if you look over here this this blue color particle will be present half inside over there and the half remaining particle will be present this side now what you are seeing over there i am trying to make over here now how to identify an octahedral void in an fcc structure identifying an octahedral void in an fcc structure is very simple now let us say this is a cube which you all have got this is an fcc structure let us say this green particle and this orange particles are present at the face center now if you look very carefully this orange particle and this green particle will be in contact with each other as well as if i put an particle from this side this will be from the back side this green particle is also going to be in contact with this green particle also if i put a particle from this side that this particle is going to be in contact with the upper orange one and as well as it's going to be in contact with this green one so i can say that the particle present over here this green particle is in contact with this particle as well as it will be in contact with the particle which will be present at this face as well as it will be in contact with the particle present at this face as well as this green particle will be in contact with the particle present at this face so it is in contact with 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 and 8 now how to identify an octahedral void let us first start with tetrahedral void over here how to identify a tetrahedral void over here now if you look very carefully from this side let me let me show it from this side if i have got an fcc structure present over here if this is an fcc present and let this two three particles will be present at the face now if you look very carefully the purple ball present over here the purple ball present over here is just like an tetrahedral void how to imagine it one two and this particle will be the third particle a purple ball is placed on three particles one two three and it is placed over here so the void present over here somewhere in between this will be a tetrahedral void as well as if you look very carefully let this be the particle present over here this particle let me let me put it up let this be the particle present over here now if i place an fcc particle over here again this ball will be making an tetrahedral void as well as if you look over here if you look over here again if you look over here this purple ball this purple ball is making a tetrahedral void over there so i can say at every corner at every corner there will be a tetrahedral void as well as if you place a particle over here this particle if is placed over here will also be making a tetrahedral void so the conclusion is at every corner if there is an fcc structure present at every corner there will be a tetrahedral void so let us let us assume over here you have a particle particle number 1 you have got particle number 2 you have got particle number 3 these three particles are present at the face centered and upon them this is the particle which is placed so the void present over here will be a tetrahedral void as well as this particle will be placed over this particle over this particle and the particle which will be present at the bottom it will be placed on them so there will also be a tetrahedral void somewhere inside it the conclusion is that every corner at every corner there will be a tetrahedral void so the total number of tetrahedral voids present over here will be 8 4 at the top corners and 4 at the bottom corners giving you 8 tetrahedral void now we all know the number of particles which are present in an fcc structure comes out to be 4 the reason is every part corner has got 1 8 particle so 1 8 into 8 it will be giving you one particle as well as what you have got is the particle present at the faces and you know at every faces there will be half particle half multiplied by you have got six faces half multiplied by 6 will give you 3 and 
this comes out to be 3 plus 1 comes out to be 4. So the total number of particle which will be written by n. So total number of particle comes out to be 4 but the tetrahedral void comes out to be 8. Hence we have proved that if there are n number of particles in a cube there will be 2 n number of tetrahedral voids. Now the next job will be to identify your octahedral void. Now for identifying octahedral void you need a bit of imagination. Let us go with a more complicated system. You have got 3 cubes which are present over here. Now how to identify a tetrahedral octahedral void. Always remember an octahedral void means a void which will be surrounded by six particles. If I have got six particles which is surrounding me, I am present inside an octahedral void means six particles are going to produce an octahedral void. Now how to identify it? Let us say the system present over here is an NaCl crystal where the blue color particles are Cl minus crystals, Cl minus ions which are present at the face as well as the white color particles are also Cl minus ion which are present at the corner. Let this red particle be Na plus ion. Now, this Na plus ion is present in an octahedral void. Now, how to identify an octahedral void? Let this, let, let us consider this red color particle will be in contact with this particle which is present over here. So, let the name, let us name this one. This red color particle will also be, pre, be in contact with that particle which is present in present that side. Let that be the number two as well as it will be in contact with the particle which will be present at the face over here. So let this, this blue particle, let this will be the 3 as well as this red particle will be in contact with this face particle, let this be the 4th. Am I correct? This blue particle, red particle will be in contact with this particle, this blue particle which is present at the face, let this be the 4th. Am I, let this be the 5th. This red color particle is also in contact with somewhere the particle present at this face, this this blue color particle which is present over here at the face. So it will be in contact with 6. So now if you look very carefully, this red color particle is surrounded by 6 chloride ion particles, 6 chloride ion particle. Hence, this Na plus ion is present in an octahedral void. Now let us, let us make this diagram much more simpler. Let me say if this is my cube which I am drawing right now. Now, I have simplified this diagram over here. This is also an FCC structure where the particle at the corner are chloride ions, the particle at the face are chloride ions, the particle at the corner again are chloride ion and this particle which is present over here will be an Na plus ion. Now if you look very carefully, this Na plus ion will be surrounded by 6 people. How it will be surrounded by 6 people? Particle number 1, particle number 2, particle number 3, particle number 4. So 4 are over here. The particle number 5th will be at this face. There will be a face which will be present over here. And obviously there will be a face centered particle over here. It will be surrounded by this particle. This blue color particle over here. As well as this particle will be also surrounded by a face which will be particle face particle which will be present over here. So this particle, this sodium is surrounded by, this sodium is surrounded by 6 people. Number 1 number 2, number 3, number 4, number 5, number 6. Hence, this sodium can be said to be present in an octahedral void. But the problem is this octahedral void do not belong to a single crystal. This octahedral void belongs to 4 crystal. So, I can say at every at every corner there will be an octahedral void. At every corner there will be an octahedral void which will be shared by 4 cubes. Am I correct? So, the number of the part of octahedral void which will be present with this cube will be one fourth. So I will be having one fourth octahedral void which will be present over here multiplied by there are 12 there are 12 sides so multiplied by 12 which will be giving me 3 as well as there will be an octahedral void which will be produced inside this particle as well as there will be an octahedral void which will be produced inside this cube. Now why this will be produced inside this cube? If this is an FCC structure, the cube which will be present over here inside this, this crystal will be an octahedral cube. There is octahedral void. The problem, the reason over for this is it will be surrounded by first particle. It will be surrounded by second particle present over here. It will be surrounded by third particle present over here. It will be surrounded by fourth particle. It will be surrounded by fifth particle and it will be surrounded by sixth particle. So in a cube, in a cube, there will be one octahedral void which will be present at the body center. That will be an octahedral void as well as there will be an octahedral void which will be present between these two particles. But this octahedral void will be shared by four other cubes 
one will be this cube the other will be the cube present over here the next will be the cube present up the next will be the cube present over here so what i can say that a, a single fcc crystal will be having one octahedral void present at the body center so that will be one plus there will be one fourth octahedral void which will be present over here so this will be one fourth multiplied by there are 12 lines multiplied by there are 12 lines multiplied by 12 will be giving you four now we all know the number of particles present in an FCC structure comes out to be 4. But the octahedral void also comes out to be 4. Hence we can prove that, we can say that if there are n number of particles present in an arrangement, there will be 2n number of tetrahedral void as well as there will be n number of tetrahedral void, octahedral void. I hope this representation was very much enough to explain you and you can now easily identify the tetrahedral void, octahedral void, triangular void present in a crystal as well as a cubic void. Always remember if there are n number of particles present in an arrangement, there are going to be 2n number of tetrahedral voids and n number of octahedral void. Thank you.